So NGHS um, palliative inpatient team is where I spend most of my time um, and it is such a great service that we offer not only our patients but also our fellow providers in our community. So when patients come in here to the hospital and they're stressed and they don't understand what all is going on, they have questions, um, they may not understand the jargon that some of the um, other healthcare workers use, um, they may get all of it. They just need a little help grappling through something and we get to be the folks that come to the bedside and meet these patients where they are, sit with their families, and just go through life with them, if you will, um, during this hospitalization and getting a little more history about the things that we don't always ask on our standard HNPs. Um, and how can we use those bits of history to help them see these are my priorities and these are my values. And so because of these things, this is what I want for my health care. And we work together to try to reconcile what they want with what's actually offered and make a plan to go from there. And it's a really beautiful thing to be able to work with all the different teams in the hospital doing that. For me, I guess it would be the relationships that we make with not just our, our families that we're taking care of but and the patients that we're taking care of, uh, but also our colleagues and, and the relationships we build with everybody throughout the health system, whether um, it's the, the rest of the staff, the nurses, the doctors, uh, the respiratory therapists. Um, this really does feel like a small community uh, and we kind of develop those relationships really closely with, with everyone that we take care of. As a palliative care fellow myself, I was able to connect deeply with patients and that requires spending a lot of time with them. As a fellow in hospice and palliative care at North Georgia Health Systems, patients, you know, fellows will be encouraged to spend time with patients and get to know them so they're comfortable and open in sharing, you know, often the most difficult time of their lives with them. So the ambulatory uh, palliative care clinic is an interdisciplinary clinic. Well, that means that you know there not only have physicians who are trained in dealing with medical symptoms, but we have licensed clinical social workers who help patients with emotional and spiritual care. We have medical assistants who listen attentively to patients' concerns and questions and make sure those are answered in a timely fashion. With COVID, a lot of things have changed with visitation, a lot of things have changed with how we communicate with families, but the overall message is still the same. And how we communicate, the form of communication, the whether it's uh, email or telephone calls now, that's a little bit different. But what we say to families and how we have difficult conversations, it, it is still the same. And it is still, um, like Dr. Pickett said, it is, it is more challenging and we've tried to do the best we can to rise to that challenge with, uh, with everything going on. Uh, but a fellow can absolutely still learn during the, during the pandemic and um, whether it's goals of care conversations, aggressive symptom management, all of those things are still happening in the hospital and they're still available to, we're still here to help. You also get a lot of the um, connection when sometimes some of our patients are approaching the end of their life and when family is able to come or when friends are able to come and see them and spend that time, um, often we have worked with our hospice team, maybe they're not even on our service anymore, they're on the hospice service, but we have folks that will email us, they'll email hospice, they'll give a phone call and they'll say, hey, we were finally able to come to the hospital, could you come by the room so we could meet you face to face? So we still get a lot of that really good, meaningful time, all the warm fuzzies as well. Selling points. Endless guac in the cafeteria. <laughs> Amazing. Taco Tuesdays. Top bowl. Tater top Thursdays. Yep. Peanut butter pie. We've got some real wins.